hi guys it's been a really long time since I've like sat down and done a makeup slash beauty tutorial or any kind of video with you um, please don't think I am naked I do have on a tube top but this is a skin video so I do want to show you guys how I apply products to get my melanated glow right now I don't have on any Thing. Um, I have I've done my skincare routine for my face and that's about it so I have my toner and moisturizer on my face I don't have any of my sunscreen or anything like that so we're definitely gonna get into the details of that and how I do my affordable everyday makeup routine that you guys basically see on my channel whenever I come to sit down with you guys and do a hair video so this is definitely gonna be more of a chit chatty get rid of me type deal um I don't often sit down with you guys so we are sitting down right now so what we're gonna do first is use the sunscreen I like to use on my face which is my Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch it has an SPF of 30 and I like this because it doesn't it melts down really well and it doesn't like burn my eyes when I sweat so go ahead and use whatever sunscreen you like the best you just rub the rest on your hands as you can see sunscreen already gives you that kind of like luminous look this one doesn't have that really weird aluminum tin man cast but keep in mind the higher SPF you go the more you're gonna get that ashy look if you're using any whitening creams or any retinol products, make sure that you're always, always using sunscreen. Um, it's always best to use those things at night, but if you're using them like in a twice a day regimen, definitely, definitely take care to protect your skin because it is the most vulnerable when you're doing treatments like that. If you guys hear any blowing, um, I do have to have my fan on. It's extremely hot here in Baltimore. So we're, we're looking at 85, 90 degree days and <laughs> my basement is not air conditioned so once we're finished with our sunscreen I like to go right in with my skin tint I am super duper amazed that NYX was able to this is not even the darkest color which I'm super excited about but NYX was able to create a skin tint for darker skin women definitely go try it out it's like 13 bucks for this tube and I've been using this for over a month now so it's lit um I will say that it's not full coverage so it's a skin tint it's not supposed to be full coverage if you have acne prone skin or you have skin that needs a little bit more coverage go ahead and uh, mix your foundation with a little bit of moisturizer and you could come out with the exact same like you'll come out with the exact same type of deal it'll just be skin tint now I'm just gonna take my NYX brow gel and this is all I use for my brows in the summertime when I'm doing my everyday face I always start at the middle with the most product and then I space out the front and the back of the brows with what's remaining only because you don't want to go right into the front with the bulk of the product you're going to make your front of your brow way too dark you also don't want to go in the tail because then you'll start just basically making a mess and making your tail longer than it needs to be. Once I'm done with the general shape of my brows, I like to go in with my Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer that is a mess because it has like this sponge tip applicator but I really really like it. And I just take my MAC, um, I think this is a 195, I can't read the numbers I've had it for so long but it's not affordable um <laughs> this bad boy is like $25 for a brush you can find better brushes out there just use whatever Morphe flat brush you can find it's very flat and it's tapered at the top I love this brush I do think you should invest in it you'll keep it for a while but it took me a while to go ahead and invest in a MAC brush it's the only MAC brush I own and it's the only MAC brush I will own I don't need fancy brushes to put essentially mineral dirt onto my face so I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on the sponge tip. I wipe my brush onto the sponge tip, and then I like to go under, like right above my crease and under my brow. I'm not touching the brow part, but then I put the brush on its side, like where that part is really flat, and that's what I use 
to carve my brow. And then I just go in with more product and I meet it up at the top. I found this way easier using the side of the brush easier because I used to go like just straight flat in and it would basically ruin my brow because well my eyelid isn't flat my brow bone isn't flat so it would make it like wavy and you don't want to do that because it takes forever to fix and I've had to like erase my brows and put them back on because of it and I just take again take that edge and I do the top of my brow I haven't really been into my super thick brows lately I like it like a medium a medium width brow However, you need a little bit more cleanup because I have not done my brows in quite some time. Let's put an extra little bit of concealer on there to hide those hairs. I'm just going to take a fluffy dome brush and go ahead and in circular motions basically blend that concealer into my foundation. I'm going to go back over it with my foundation brush as well just so we're not highlighted too much above the brow. Now what I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I'm kind of just speaking from my heart here, is black owned businesses. Now, back in February, I wanted to do a uh, black owned month on my channel, and I'm so sad that I did not get to do it, but I have a couple of black owned businesses that I want to basically let you guys know about. And, um, but before that, I want to let you guys know that I've been listening to a couple of, uh, black power speakers and I listened to, I'm also going to put my concealer underneath my eye now. I was listening to Dr. Amos Wilson and you guys can look him up on here and listen to his, um, blueprint for black business speech, I believe it's called about two hours long so I mean you can listen to it in the car or you know when you're on your long drives coming up on vacation but one thing he mentioned that really stuck out to me is that we tend to spend our money and set our goals for things that do not benefit us we do not keep our money in our communities and basically we outsource all of our, our our products and our business to different communities and we all know this this is not anything that's like a secret or anything we know that the business of beauty is a huge business specifically hair and i know i promote a lot of hair on this channel and one of my best videos was the one where I taught you guys how to make your own lace fronts. And I am a huge proponent for doing things yourself. Like I, I do my own hair, I do my own makeup, I do my own nails. I am learning to make my own clothes. And I want to be completely self-efficient. I don't want to rely on anyone else to provide me with basically anything beauty related so because I promote so much beauty on this channel I wanted to let you guys know that I was looking up black owned makeup companies affordable black owned makeup companies that that's important too I understand that it's very hard to be affordable when you're a small business but when I was looking up the black owned makeup companies there were like companies that were really good but $30 for foundation, $25 for lipstick and stuff like that. And you know what? I I don't I don't I don't disagree with that because you'll buy you'll buy Lancome and you'll buy, you know, Urban Decay and everything. You'll pay $25 for their lipsticks and their blushes. So I think you should be able to pay for ours as well. However, I also think that we have to start small. So what I was looking into was um making my starting to learn to make my own foundation and things like that only because the readily available foundations like black radiance and um what else 
Milani, I, I thought Milani was like, a, it used to cater to people of color. If you guys remember this, Milani used to really cater to people of color and then they, they branched away from that. But um, stores like Black Radiance, Black Up, and um, there's one more that I'm missing, right? Black Opal aren't black owned anymore. And I feel like that's something that we do need to address. I'm going to set all the places I just highlight highlight with my uh, RCMA powder. I'm still rocking with this to the death of me. Um, very affordable, like $12. So when I was looking into some of my favorite, and I use a lot of these products because I love drugstore products, but it breaks my heart that they aren't black owned, but they cater to black people, and but they're affordable. So it's like you're in a conundrum, you know what I mean? So I'm looking into making my own products, not only because I think it'll save money, but also because I think the color, you know, finding my color, I'm tired of us having this argument, I'm tired of us trying to be included, I'm tired of us yelling at companies who are using our outrage as promotion. And also, a lot of these products have chemicals in them that we can't even freaking pronounce, man. And I don't know if y'all realize this, but black women and black beauty products seem to have the most cancer causing chemicals from our hair products i'm gonna set my eyebrows too i always do this you guys from our hair products to remember johnson and johnson baby powder now how i don't know how many of you guys grandmother used to um used to put like baby powder in her panties i know mine's did and i learned you know just just to keep it i guess you know you get fresh like it's since you were a baby you put baby powder in your diapers and things like that and come to find out we're we now have cervical cancer because of it and it's really pissing me off because all our hair products are giving us cancer and it seems to be like a lot of the stuff that we use that mostly black women use has cancer causing chemicals and no one talks about it enough so i want to look for natural products i want to look for color correct colored products I don't want to be red all the time I'm sick of being red or burnt orange or sienna or whatever color you guys want us to be it's like either I'm brick red or I'm casket ready gray and I think that we need to stop hashtagging and yelling at these established brands that thought nothing about us we also need to stop pretending that Fenty was the first person with dark a dark range they have a huge beautiful range but essentially Lancome did the same thing and they are still these are still luxury price products and you know what Rihanna deserves to have a luxury price makeup line she absolutely deserves it that makeup line is Z-Bomb however the average everyday schmo like me we need to we get out of this idea that we need to keep spending this amount of money for the same look like I'm about to show you guys you do not need to do all of that so for my contour, I like to use my Black Radiance Press Powder, and this is in the shade, I think it's Black black Coffee. I always use Black Coffee. And then I think one there's one more shade after this, so this is pretty dark. And I'm just going to lightly contour. I don't like to do too much contour. And also contour underneath my chin and I like to contour in my cubits bow and also I like to contour the sides of my nose very lightly just to kind of bring that definition back if you listen to the blueprint for black businesses you'll learn that us begging to be included is half the problem if you think about it no, it isn't easy to for black people to create their own communities. Um, we've tried to do that and we've been bombed, destroyed, and sabotaged. However, if you think of how we are then integrated into communities that do, did not have us in mind, they're always lacking. It's always lacking something. And then 
it turns and it turns from us wanting to be included to us complaining about every little thing. Have you guys noticed that? Have you guys noticed that that's the first thing they'll say is like, oh, well now you're included, but now you're complaining about this. Well, they have dark skin colors, and now you're complaining that the dark skin colors are not the right undertone. Or they, you know, they have dark skin foundations, but now you're complaining that all of the lighter concealers are orange. It's, it, they'll people will find a reason to make you think that you're asking for too much when you're asking for the bare minimum and so if a place is not designed to cater to you opening the door doesn't help if you're shaped like a square and the door to this place is round and it's full of round people and round windows and round door frames just because they opened that round door does not mean your square ass is going to fit comfortably in this round place. Does that make sense? So um, what I like to do after all of that is basically set my face with the Soft Focus Black Radiance Finishing Powder and Milk Chocolate. Again, I have a lot of Black Radiance, um, so I really wish they were black owned, but they're not. <laughs> However, I would also like to talk about black people selling their companies as soon as they make a little bit of money i understand that when your company's doing good i've never sold a company so i can't speak on it personally but i can speak on it from a regular person's perspective but if your company is doing good and you see that you know some big conglomerate wants to now take it over and they say hey you know you're making five hundred thousand a year I'll pay you six million dollars for this company and you're like oh well, hell yeah I don't know where I'm gonna be in five years I don't know if I'm gonna actually make money from this company I'm gonna let you guys know right now if you if these people see value in your work then it is valuable and do not let them anything that they tell you that they're paying for you pay for it it's probably worth twice as much because that's their job I'm gonna um before I set my face and make everything dry I'm gonna make sure that my my forehead is covered because I've had that happen before me setting my edges and then it's like boom you've got makeup and if you want to retouch up your contour you can go ahead and do that now um, I like where mine is but what I will do is take a little bit more of that RCMA powder and just clean it up a little bit just so it pokes out but yeah so I have a really interesting um, local here in Baltimore I have a friend who is getting into the cosmetics industry and she um a while back she gifted me some glow serum which I've been using just about every day this summer to well this summer just this spring I'm gonna clean up the contour on my nose too to uh, achieve my glow goals and I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit about her company so here's the tester sample that she gave me. Um, her company's name is Luxy Beauty. It's a vegan, all natural company. And she has five shades, I believe. If I can remember, it's a rose gold, um, a bronze, a true gold, which is what I have right here, an ivory and like a pink, pinky pearlescent color. Um, I think those are all the colors. If not, I'll have them listed below along with a link to her Instagram. So that you guys can check out the uh the company it's literally it's like a it's starting up it's a new company it's local and i basically love this like this formula let me just show you guys really quickly so when you rub it in there's an actual shimmer it's not glittery it's not oily it's just it just makes your skin like pop a little bit more what I like to do is, after I apply my lotion and everything else, I'll apply it to my high points, my shoulders, and my collarbone, and it just gives you like this melanated pop. But we're definitely, I'll show you guys how I use that in just a second. Um, we're gonna finish up our makeup here. So, what I like to do after my base is completely done is use the ColourPop Don't Give a Fuck. High shadow, uh, high shadow. It's an eyeshadow. I use it as both an eyeshadow and a highlighter, hence high shadow. So it's really simple. I just I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. It's it's more like a loose glitter. You 
you see that? You'll see it in my eyes. Anyway, I just take a big fluffy dome brush and I apply that onto my lid and blend it out as much as possible. It has like a red undertone which is perfect for me because it just makes my eyelids look like wow they're shiny but I take it all the way up to my brow it is completely optional I just like the way it makes my eyes look bigger and I blend it in so there are no patchy chunks of glitter anywhere everything is very smooth and very blended so basically, without sounding like I'm complaining and I'm actually presenting us solutions, um, like I said, I'm going to do some more research into making my own makeup and let you guys know how that goes so that you can do the same. But I'm also going to, what I'm doing in this video is promoting affordable products for now. I have not bought new makeup, like new anything new that came out, I haven't bought it in two years. Because I don't believe in the consumerist policies that like makeup is doing now like if you find a product that works for you and it works for your face and it works for your skin keep buying it you don't need every eyeshadow palette they, there's only so many colors in the rainbow sis they can't keep coming up most of them are the exact same we're looking at you tart uh, most of these eyeshadow palettes that come out are the exact same with like one or two different colors but you know how I started doing this basically what happened is I would look at an eyeshadow palette and the color that drew me in the most, I would cover it up. Cover up that, that orange, cover up that mustard yellow, cover up that lime green, and look at it again. Look at the entire eyeshadow palette with the colors, the one or two colors that drew you in. Do you still like it? Is it plain? Is it just a bunch of neutral colors? Do you already own it? Stop buying it. You do not need to buy a $45 eyeshadow palette for two shadows that you like. It's, it's a very common uh, misconception. It's, it's this trick of the eye that these shadow palettes are different when all they are the exact same with one or two pops of color thrown in that your eye goes to. And this consumerist uh, lifestyle that we've gone into where literal 14 year olds are spending hundreds of dollars in their, their Sephora Rouge. I gave up my Sephora Rouge. Because it's a, it's a false sense of superiority having it. Um, so I stopped buying stuff. I stopped spending $1,000 a year on makeup. There's no reason for it. I don't even use it. I have piles of makeup over here that I don't use. I use only these products every single day. I use them in the winter and the summertime. And I have not changed my makeup routine since because this works for me. I do use the uh, Fenty Beauty method of connecting my eyeshadow with this highlighter. So yeah. Stop buying stuff that you do not need. Now, now that my eyeshadow is done, what I like to use for my cheeks is a combination of um, these NYX blushes. This is from the Bear With Me line as well. These are both $10 each. That's a little expensive for cream blush, but you get so much in it and you only need a little tiny, teeny bit. So what I like to do is just warm it up on the back of my hand, just like that. I'm gonna mix the colors the orange and the pink color together so that's on the back of my hand and then from the back of my hand I just tap the apples of my cheeks and that's straight from the back of my hand I don't put it directly on my face because I find that um, when I put liquids or oils on top of my powder it lifts and so I always warm it up on the back of my hand and then pat it in just pat in that pigment and bada boom bada bam we are basically done now last step is using my morphe setting spray i just really love the dewy glow that this gives me it's 15 dollars. i think that's a little too expensive we're going to do a video on making our own setting spray basically i'm going to try to finagle this container so i can still use it because i love the mist function of it but we're going to we're going to spray our face For my lashes, I like to use these really long 614 dupes. These are from Amazon, and I'll put the link below, even though I kind of don't want you guys to know where I get them from because these are my babies. But I'm going to share because sharing is caring. These, um, for a pack of five, I believe it's like eight bucks, super affordable in the realm of lashes. And I like to use my duo lash glue to apply them. 
Now, Ismael Ray Ray, years ago, Ismael Ray Ray taught me to put the lash glue directly on my lid, and that's what I've always done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it very closely to my lash line, trying to avoid my natural lashes, which should be easy because I barely have any in the first place. We're almost done. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes. Easiest way to do that is to hold them up and pretend you're dropping off a package at a naval base. There you go, very carefully. Don't want to land on any of the civilians or soldiers. This is a top secret operation and mission accomplished. I like these lashes because they're wispy and they're long, but they're not super duper full and broom broom like. Um, I found that with my eye shape, having um, smaller eyes, almond shape that thinner looking lashes look the best. Those heavy, super wispy lashes do not work for me. Now what I like to do, in it's my very fashion, is pull down my extra eyelid skin over top of the top of the lashes. That way when I blink and you're looking at me, or anyone's like looking at me that's taller than me, they can't see my lash band because I'm hidden it with my saggy eyelash skin. Um, last but not least, I'm going to, uh, what is it, like lash but not least, ah, it's cute. I'm going to use a combination of these two mascaras. One is just an ALF 3-in-1 mascara. I love this for my bottom lashes because of the little bolly ball on the end there. Let them see, camera, let them see. And the other is the Worth the Hype NYX Mascara. And it's not really worth the hype, but I bought it, so I'm gonna use it. It's uh, more for volume. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. So I really wanna hear from you guys and what you think about the uh, what we can do as the new generation of uh, black-owned business owners. What can we do to, I see a lot of um, basically fights on the internet about one, black people not patronizing businesses or wanting lower prices um, when they don't request that from other ethnicities and other um, cultures to lower their prices and they'll pay whatever that they set standard, which is the truth. But I also see black consumers concerned about the attitude and the entitlement that black business owners have um i know that one thing that really like gets my goal is uh this pricing secrecy that it seems that everyone likes to have on um online like they're dm me for prices dm me for prices and then the unprofessionalism of um of blasting people online and uh, this this air of superiority of when people tell you what their budget is and it's like my prices are based off my talent not my budget it goes both ways um sometimes when people say their budget is a certain a certain price it's because that's what they can afford and they don't know anything about the industry so they don't know how much it generally costs so for you to put them on blast on twitter or you know make it go viral because they asked for a 600 dollar catering party and it usually costs about eighteen hundred dollars that's your chance to educate instead of saying this bitch trying to pay me well below market value everybody doesn't know how much everything costs everybody's not in your your realm of business so they can't necessarily fathom how much goes into the intricacies i just made that word up but how much goes into each and every detail of your business and why it costs the way it does and um i also think we need to talk about this uh this gatekeeping in business like when black people make it in they don't like to help other black people make it in and i think that we need to discuss that like when you guys ask me about youtube i try to tell you everything i use from my camera to my lighting and things like that i haven't done a, a tour yet because my room is a mess and i don't want y'all on this internet talking about me but when i do get my filming room up to snuff we doing this tool i'm gonna let you guys know everything i use down to my editing equipment and things like that because i think when i when i started no one 
I had to look for so many videos and there was no black people promoting it. It was literally all white videos. Uh, it's like people like to keep things a secret and I don't understand why you don't want other black people to succeed, why you don't want someone who looks like you to sit next to you in the at the table. But um, we're going to do our lips. I'm going to show you my lip combination and then we're going to finally get on to skin because I've been... Ooh, it's taking a while for this one. So starting with lips, I like to use my Kiss Intense Lip Liner in dark brown. This color is literally perfect for me. And I just outline my lips. I do overline my lips. I just like the look. I don't need to. Lipstick, I like to use my L'Oreal Matte Cademia lipstick. It's like a true pinky nude. It's actually like a true nude, it's just straight up nude on me. And then to tie it all together, I like to use my e.l.f. gloss in either Pink Cosmo or the Champagne color. I'm gonna go with Pink Cosmo today and mix everything together. Hey guys, this hair is the IC Mongolian Kinky Curly. It is my go-to hair for this summer. I am just freaking amazed at the curls. These curls are, I remember in the video I told you guys you probably have to do it every day. I have not done this hair in four days. So, um, basically I just take it off at the end of the day and I do absolutely nothing to it. I just sit it on my chair. And it, it looks like this. So, I mean... I'm going to wash it in like two days because I'm going to the ocean and I want it to be fresh for the ocean. The ocean, hun. Um, but I haven't done anything to it in days. Now, can we finally get to skin? Can we finally stop rambling? Yes, yes we can. For my skin. I, you guys, y'all think I use this? Y'all think I like this? I love the hemp coconut watermelon. Oh my god, you want to smell tropical? For this summer, get you the Hemp's Coconut Watermelon. And basically, I got mine from Amazon, so the little pumpy pump don't work. Go figure. But it's $12 at Amazon, $24 at Ulta. $12 at Amazon, $24 at Ulta. Click the link below. So I use this for my body, all over my body. It smells really good. So I'm just going to apply this to my skin. You guys see that I do have on the top. I've told you that already. But yeah, I apply this to my skin for my base moisturizer. And then I like to take Luxie Beauty's um, highlighter, as I told you guys before, and just hit the highest points of my collarbone. So just right down my collarbone and on my shoulders. And this thing lasts so long because you have to use so little. It does have a dropper. Oh, I burnt myself here, so with my my Caroline iron on one of my uh one of my wigs, and I'm just gonna take a, like a fluffy dome brush. You guys can can you tell I like fluffy dome brushes? They do the best with blending things out. And I'm just going to, ooh, look at that collarbone. Look at it shimmer. Look at it shine. Now again, I have the true gold, but there is a darker color. It's called bronze, and it is absolutely gorgeous. But I think the true gold looks like a natural highlight. So that's the one that I like to use. Oh, you guys, y'all need this. It's it's like not it's not greasy and it's not that dry, weird glitter like glitter look. It's just a neck. Look at that. Look at that melanin popping. Okay. Yeah. Ignore my burn marks. More burnt up. More marked up. I'm about to stall on the wire or the corner or losing Isaiah. <laughs> anyway, I like to just use it on my shoulders, especially if I'm wearing like a nice little halter top like I have on now. Just take it up on my neck a little bit. Y'all, look at this. 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 Y'all don't get into get into my girl's Luxie Beauty. She's not playing gay vegan, all natural. Vegan though? Like that's the like how? I, you, 
you got bigger companies that can't do that. So I, I, I didn't ask her what the formula was. I, I don't know what the Krabby Patty secret formula is, but I feel like so excited to be one of the uh, people she chose to try this out. <laughs> I am like, if you don't want to glow all summer, that's fine. That's fine. But I'm gonna be glowing, okay? I'm gonna be glowing. Now, I like my highlight on my face a little bit more subtle these days, so I'm not gonna add any to my face. But if you wanted to, what I suggest is to put it underneath your foundation and definitely get that inner glow going. Um, it dries beautifully. It's not greasy. It's not slippery. It's not chunky. It just has that nice. Oh, I'm, gi I'm giving it to you. You know, I'm gi giving you something you can feel. You know, mm, to make you know this looks for real. Anyway, we are basically almost done, but we gonna take that melanated glow to our next level. Um, I was watching uh, J Lo's makeup artist and he said that what he does to get that j-lo glow is use the neutrogena ultra sheer um sunscreen now, i was already using this and i just never thought to use it as a beauty product um i got the 45 so it's a higher version than what's on my face but because my face already has a um separate sunscreen on it it's fine what you gotta do is just open it up which way so you're just gonna open it up give your body a quick Spray and it's gonna give you that, that wet look. Now you look good. Now you're at the beach. You look good, okay? You're at the beach, you wet. You running in slow motion. Everybody turning their heads. They trying to figure out where all this chocolate came from. They looking for Willy Wonka. You about to tell them that you about to get juvenile diabetes in this mother. Like, look at my skin. Look at my skin. Look at, look at what I'm doing. Look at how I'm giving it to y'all. Look at, look at the angles. Look at the angles. But you can still see those pops from that highlighter. What y'all, what y'all finna do? You finna, you finna cop or you not finna cop? Check that link below. If y'all want, all of these products are affordable. Most of them you can find at Walmart. And uh, what I want to start doing is, since I haven't been doing makeup tutorials, and because I don't change my makeup a lot, I, I want to start promoting more local black owned businesses to you guys because I pr promote so many overseas companies and I I want us to be smarter about our black dollar and be smarter about our community outreach so we're definitely going to get into that a lot more on this channel if you are not into that I'm so so sorry you guys it was nice having you here watching I'm still going to do hair reviews I'm still going to do hair tutorials however I want to throw in something for my people as well so get ready for that get to Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. I love you so much.